out of uh, tragedy, something out of what can only be described as a senseless tragedy, something positive is being created in the memory of Luke Batty, the 11-year-old boy who was last week killed by his father at cricket practice in Victoria. Friends of his mother, Rosie, have set up a fund to raise money so that something good can come out of it all. Meanwhile, a memorial page for Luke has been liked by more than 160,000 people on Facebook. Now, Rosie Batty joins us from Melbourne. Rosie, good morning to you. Thank you for being with us. And first, can I start by saying that uh, your bravery and eloquence has touched so many around the country. How are you doing? Um, I think people would understand that people cope differently and my way of coping is to be productive and busy whilst I can and I'm just coping in the way that feels right and taking opportunities to um, seek reinforcement where I feel it's being healing for me. Rosie, where, where does that come from? Where does that courage and compassion come from? Um, I lost my mother when I was six years old and I think a life when you experience a trauma of losing your mother um, at that early age it clearly sets um, the opportunity I guess to develop certain qualities that may I may otherwise never have been able to um, experience so I guess that is probably where it came from. Uh, Rosie, a lot of people I think would have been surprised to hear you come out uh, so soon after the tragedy and say that you wanted uh, your ex-partner to be remembered well despite the fact that he'd just uh, killed your son. You've described him as compassionate and otherwise uh, troubled um, and, and said he was loving. Uh, can you just talk us through um, why you've been so I suppose, moved to uh, defend his memory so quickly? People are not all bad. Anyone that has a relationship with anyone will know that we have our good, good qualities, our qualities that we try to improve on and build on. No, nobody goes around being bad all of the time and they have beautiful characteristics that, th that you, you were drawn to in the first place. So that, you know, they, and those are the things that I want to remember of Greg, through, even though it has been very, very difficult, because if we can't look for the good in people, gosh, you've got to look Rosie, I, I Beyond think, the badness. Rosie, I think everyone in Australia is feeling for you. Can I just go back to something you said about your mother? Did you lose your mother under similar circumstances to the way your son died? Completely differently. Completely differently. There is absolutely no, no history of violence in my family, my extended family. This is, this is just an amazingly catastrophic thing that has never happened to any of my family in the whole of England and what happened with my mum is we were I was six nearly seven my brother was four and my other, youngest brother was nearly two years old and my mother had a, a hernia operation and um, for some reason peritonitis set, set in it was only supposed to be a, a, a straightforward procedure and she died and How awful. that left my father with three small children under the age of seven. And, and your inner strength, are you, are you a religious person? Do you have, is there faith helping you here? Look, um, I was brought up, like everybody was brought up in, a, in, a, in my era I guess and, and in a small village in England. We grew up going to church and Sunday school. The whole village community revolved around the church. Um, schools had that, you know, um, religious structure. I went to a Catholic boarding school. So uh, religion has always been part of my life, but as an adult, 
I guess I've grown more to a, my own spiritual beliefs through reading different things, Deepak Chopra, um, oh geez, just a, a quest of reading and learning and perhaps being more drawn to um, philosophies based around Buddhism and just philosophies about love and um, and I don't mean love in a, a light, a fairy way, but just that we have to um, learn to love ourselves. And Rosie, you, to... you speak there of love and um, very much the community and the local community has gathered and rallied around you. Oh. How are they helping and what can people do who are feeling very powerless in this situation? I, I, I really think you know what to do. Um, I can't believe people are coming to our family with toilet rolls, um, groceries, bottles of wine, vouchers. I mean, I don't expect or ask for anything. A hug, a look, that knowing, uh, the knowing that a parent feels, my friends who've got sons that went to school with Luke, that went to childcare with Luke, that knew how much I talked about Luke and the journey I've had. You all know how I feel. Mm. Uh, you don't want to ever be in my position, but you all dread ever thinking it could be you. So you know how I'm feeling. Rosie. And it's about you acting in your own honesty and saying, I don't know what I could do, but um, maybe I can just have a chat or a beer with my friend or a, a drink, uh, you, you know, you share, you share your sorrow, you share intimate feelings of um, sadness and you share that. We, that's do all, how you... we do all feel for you, Rosie. What will the money uh, that's going to be raised be used for? What, what do you hope to do in Luke's memory? Well, look, I've absolutely no idea how much it could possibly be. It could be a couple of hundred dollars, a couple of thousand dollars. I really don't know what to expect. And the reason I'm, I'm saying um, I would like to have the power to use it for a project to help children affected by violence. There are a lot of homeless children. There are, and I'm not naive in this area. I took a young girl in sev some years ago. I think she was... 17, maybe 18, 17. Um, her name is Kayla, and she'd been living on the streets for quite some time, and a lot of that was her choice because she couldn't conform in what is typically a foster parent environment, resisted living in residential care. She had animals and she, they were the most important thing in her life. And I related to Kayla because when I was a child and I lost my mother, animals were an important part of my life. Well, hopefully... And Kayla... Ro Sorry, Rosie. Kayla... I... Sorry, Rosie. I was just about to say, hopefully uh, that money can go some way in doing something yeah. really positive in Luke's memory. Um, what a brave woman you are, and thank you very much for joining us on the show today. We have to leave it there. Thank you. And all of our thoughts are with you.